want to really be happy. Hello Matt, it is uh, Friday 25th um, of September. Today's vlog comes in three specific parts. Um, yeah, and none of them are the punishment. Yeah, that brings you on to part one, the punishment. Now Matt, you, um, I'm taking a bit of your advice here, or not advice, your technique. Um, you put your punishments in separate videos. I'm going to do that for my one. And in, in, before the 1st of October, which is my deadline by the way, the 1st of October is my deadline. I'm going to make a video about my punishment uh, because what's the point of putting in a one minute punishment video in a nine minute vlog? It doesn't really make a lot of sense, does it? So, yeah, I am going to put my punishment, do my punishment on the weekend, maybe Monday or Tuesday, and then I'm going to upload it before my Thursday vlog. Either way, I'm going to do it that way because I think that is actually quite a bit better than my strategy for punishments. I'm saying strategic, what am I doing? A footnote before part two is um, I'm doing this vlog a little bit earlier, it's currently half eight. The reason I'm doing it now is because I actually start work at Waitrose tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, I'm starting running college three weeks ago and now I'm starting at Waitrose. Um, yeah, uh, really, yeah, again, really strange feeling. Right, part two, Matt. I want to talk about Diego Costa because in the last week, obviously, it's been a whole fiasco about the Diego Costa Arsenal incident. Um, well, I'm going to throw out my opinion in there because I think it's about time someone came out there not exactly defending Diego Costa but um, like criticising the way it's been covered. Okay, so in a game between Arsenal and Chelsea on the 20th of September um, Diego Costa had violent contact with Cusheldi, violent contact with Gabriel Angle, Gabriel sent off um, obviously Chelsea ended up winning the game 2-0, but that's beside the question. And obviously I like Chelsea more than Arsenal by a long shot, so... Obviously I will, I'm naturally for Diego Costa, but obviously, yeah, he did kind of deserve to be banned. Um, three games, yeah, I don't have a problem with the ban, really. Um, I don't like players being violent, and I obviously think it's good to punish players, and obviously, um, give Gabriel, um, like a lift from a suspension. But I'm going to defend Diego Costa in this right because he's getting so much hate. Literally, he's getting so much hate on um, YouTube, Facebook, and Footed. I'm seeing comments all over the place saying um, Diego Costa and Diego Costa is yeah, all that malarkey. And honestly, like there have been incidents worse I mean Luis Suarez a few years ago with the bite and obviously last year with the other bite um, he didn't get this much hate um, and in my opinion that's just as bad um, like it was violent conduct but he didn't exactly you know cause a gash in a player that will last for a couple of months did he? There have been a few other players as well like in recent memory Pepe for example who yeah is hated but I mean, every time he does an instant, he gets hated on for about a day and then it gets forgotten. Diego Costa, I think this will go on for the whole season, you know. So I think the haters just lay off and let Diego Costa play his football. I mean, the ban was deserved. And lifting Gabriel's suspension, yeah, okay, that was also fine. Um, but I think people should just lay off the hate because footballers get into fights all the time, violent conduct... And Diego Costa is known for being a bit violent on the pitch. I mean, he's never exactly been um, a pacifist. Um, but, I mean, he has been known for a violent streak. And they should just, they should just um, know that's the case. They shouldn't hate on him for this one instant. And seeing as Arsenal is a massive club, obviously there's going to be so much more hate. Um, and I think it's uncalled for all this hate. They just back off and let him play his football. And trust me, um, by the end of the season, um, this will still be being talked about. Um, and then Diego Costa will probably have a 15-goal season or 20-goal season, I'll bet. So he's a great player, but just lay off with the hate, please. Part three of the vlog, Matt. Now, as you know, we have had a few conversation starters over the, the year. Um, and they're mainly be, being positive. Um, like, we never really got into an argument as such. 
I think we've had a few disagreements, but I mean, there's never been an outright feud um, or debate. Um, so, and obviously in yesterday's vlog, I was saying we should make vlogs more positive. Well, when I meant, meant that, I meant like, um, like just have more positive voices. But I'm going to propose I make a list of subjects which um, we can have an argument about. Um, not an argument as such, just a debate, and hopefully this will go on for a few weeks. Um, so, I'm going to make a list of two things. Um, for instance, if I say, um, oh, the object's right next to me. So, if I make a point, um, I say Crash Bandicoot 1 or Crash Bandicoot 2. I'm going to say Crash Bandicoot 2 is my favourite. Yeah, Crash Bandicoot 2 is my favourite out of the two. Um, if you agree with that, you say Crash Bandicoot 2 in your Sunday vlog. Um, just, I'm going to say a few points, and uh, I'm going to say my opinion, and if you disagree, you disagree with me and say, it's going to be really hard, but either way, um, I'm going to say a lot of things we may have different opinions about, and the first thing you disagree with me on, or the best thing you disagree with me about, like the thing you disagree with me the most about, um, let's have a feud about it, because I think there's not been enough arguments between us, and I think, or debate, I keep on saying argument, that's too strong a word, debate between us in the vlogs. So here we go, we're going to go on to a list of topics that I am going, that we may have different opinions about. So go through these and say which ones you prefer. I'm going to say ones I prefer, if you have different opinions, you uh, say your points about it, okay? So weird. Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars. Bus or train? Bus. FIFA or PES? FIFA. If you say PES, I mean, this was just one of those things I thought. If you say PES, I mean, then this vlog series is over. Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Harry Potter. Mario or Sonic? Sonic. BBC or ITV? BBC. Sky Sports or BT Sport? Sky Sports. Batman or Superman? Batman. Zombies or Vampires? Vampires. Pirates or Ninjas? Ninjas. Waitrose or Tesco? Waitrose. Star Wars Original Trilogy or Star Wars Prequel Trilogy? Come on. A thing I think we'll definitely have a feud on. PS4 or Xbox One or PS3 slash Xbox 360 Xbox. So go through that list, see which ones you agree and disagree with and report back to me in your Sunday vlog on which ones you disagree with and then we could have a debate about them and see which one is better, which will hopefully last a few weeks um, because I don't think we've ever had enough of those conversations to us. So either way, that's been the vlog and Matt, I will see you tomorrow in your Super Saturday vlog.